July 2025, astronomers spot 3I Atlas, only the third interstellar object ever recorded, hurtling into our solar system at astonishing speeds. But when the James Webb Telescope picks up a steady, pulsing glow from its core, light no ordinary rock should emit, the game changes. Its brightness is three times what models predict, with no comet tail, no flicker. Rotation is unnervingly precise. Then the shock hits. Multiple teams detect a thermal heartbeat pulsing every few hours, paired with a cascade of radio signals unlike anything natural. If verified, this could be the first sign of something built, not born, approaching us. What is 3i Atlas? And why are the world's top scientists scrambling for answers? August 6, 2025. Barry, deep in James Webb's data, NIR spectroscopy operators notice something off. The first infrared images show a concentrated core glow, tight, isolated, far brighter than surrounding dust. Not a haze, not a diffuse coma, but a white-hot nucleus no telescope can resolve. Readings are clean, unaffected by instrument errors or solar interference. On raw plots, the heat signature is undeniable, a white-hot core fading into colored bands. Senior instrument scientist Dr. Lena Marovich rechecks calibrations and reruns the numbers. The emission holds steady, three times higher than any object of this size should reach. No tail, no flicker, just a fixed beacon. Internal chat lights up with questions. Outgassing or something else entirely? Archive checks with Hubble and Tess reveal an active glow far beyond Jupiter, well before sunlight could trigger normal comet activity. Still, nothing matches the clarity or intensity of Webb's latest images. The heat is coming from inside, not the surface. Optical survey teams in Chile and Hubble analysts start their own verification. Brightness is staggering. By every measure, 3i Atlas shines nearly three times as much as expected. Light curves over weeks show a steady, unwavering output. No dips, no surges, nothing like the flicker of venting gas or uneven surfaces. Comets usually brighten and fade unpredictably as they tumble. Here, rotation is about six hours, enough to reveal surface activity, yet nothing appears. Hubble finds no classic tail. Instead, a tight teardrop-shaped cocoon surrounds the object. Even six astronomical units from the sun, where sunlight is weak and comets lie dormant, 3i Atlas is already active, glowing against the black. No model explains this intensity or timing. Optical teams face a puzzle, too bright, too steady, too self-contained to fit any known category. Normal comet rules don't apply. Next step, look deeper inside. Infrared analysts dissect time series data. The heat isn't just intense, it has a rhythm. Every four hours, the core swills and fades deliberately, mechanically, radiating outward in waves. No random flicker, no chaotic bursts. Logs mark each rise and fall with uncanny precision. Dr. Elena Marovich maps it against rotation and orbit. Nothing lines up. Heat is independent of sunlight or distance from the sun. It looks less like outgassing, more like a heartbeat of something engineered. Radio observatories from California to South Africa tune in. The Allen Telescope Array, led by Dr. Kavita Ralph, filters hours of wideband data uncovering a faint narrow band pulse repeating every four hours. Fourier analysis confirms a precise, stable pattern. Over multiple nights, the pulse persists, subtly drifting with solar wind fluctuations. Teams at Meerkat and Ethelberg confirm it isn't local interference. The question grows, natural process or deliberate signal? Mid-August 2025, the anomaly deepens. Webb detects a sudden flare. Brightness jumps nearly 40% in under an hour. Earth orbital satellites confirm the surge across visible and thermal bands. Then it stabilizes at a new baseline. Attention shifts to trajectory. ESA's Marco Michelli updates models. 3i Atlas veers unexpectedly closer to the solar plane. Outgassing? Measurement error? Nothing fits. Flare and course change appear linked. What kind of object changes course mid-flight? 
and why here, at the edge of the ecliptic? August 18th, 2025, Webb's near spectra passed to Johns Hopkins' Cary Liss. Typical comet markers, water ace, CO2, are present, but layered atop are absorption lines that defy known catalogs. Reflectivity hints at metallic alloys, some resembling rare earth elements, others theoretical quantum materials, never observed in nature. Evidence points to something engineered. By late August, raw feeds tighten. NASA and ESA memos cite planetary security. The SEI working group debates transmitting a signal. After a tense vote, a message of prime numbers, periodic table elements, and constants is sent. 72 hours later, a narrowband reply arrives, time to the second. Agencies reroute communications to classified channels. Speculation runs wild outside. Inside, curiosity turns to caution. At the August AIU debate, four leading models, outgassing jets, radiogenic heating, dust scattering, mass errors, fail to explain the anomalies. With September's flyby approaching, the countdown is on. Every instrument watches, hoping for data to answer the question. On August 6, 2025, Webb records 3i Atlas emitting infrared light three times brighter than expected. In the following weeks, teams document a pulsed heat signature, repeating radio signal, and sudden 40% flare linked to a trajectory shift. Tests, Hubble, and ESA orbital data confirm it. Spectra reveal rare alloys and unknown absorption lines. Independent reviews rule out outgassing, radioactive decay, and dust scattering. As of late September 2025, closest approach is imminent. 3i Atlas challenges all models of interstellar objects. Its next pass past Earth will be a decisive moment for planetary science.